Rambo Action Figure. Hey yo, this is Matt. And yes, I was surprised as you, but when I saw this available, he needed to be added to the collection. Rambo's one of the original action heroes. A quick look at the design and sculpt. This look is based on the first movie of the franchise, First Blood, that came out in 1982. This Rambo figure is from Haya Toys, which I've heard of before, but I don't have any figures from them. I am looking at their Godzilla though. The face sculpts are what sold me. This poncho isn't the best, but it does come off. The jeans look pretty good for 1 12th scale jeans. Unfortunately, his body is a little weird too, at least in a plain pose with no weapons, which we will see in a bit. And taking a close up look at the head sculpts, they are so good. They look just like Stallone. And the bandana is built into all of them. The rest of the accessories are pretty solid. We have a total of 12 different hands, but I think some got messed up in my pack. I have three right trigger hands and no left trigger hands. I can't remember if he dual wields guns in this movie or not, but may maybe one of them is for each different gun because the guns have different handles, but they all look extremely similar. So I don't know if this was a mistake or not. There's the military radio, walkie talkie, some ammo clips in different sizes. There's this wrapping that connects the knife to the stick to make the spear that he makes, his epic knife, his large M60 that does have a folding stand, a hunting rifle, and a classic M16. And there's also some ammo belts that he can wear. Some of these accessories have bonus features. Sadly, my M16 didn't come with this ammo cartridge because it should be able to remove it or put it back in. Maybe I can just make one. These ammo clips attach to the M60. The knife and stick was a little tricky to connect, but it works and looks good. Moving on to the articulation, keeping his poncho on for now. The poncho is a little stiff, but it doesn't really restrict the movement too much. His boots are a little strange. They look good, but they don't give much support when getting him or trying to make him stand or pose. They are also rubbery, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Taking off the poncho, we get a first look at the body. And like I said earlier, it seems a little weird. I think it's his hips, like they're too big or something. Putting the knife in for a more classic look. He's got a good ab crunch and you can really see the defined abs through this white shirt. His torso and neck area have a layer of rubber or plastic. I think it's to give a better shape. I haven't seen that before on other figures. There are butterfly joints for the shoulders, a bicep swivel, and double jointed elbows. So pretty good upper body articulation, and he can touch his head. For his legs, there is thigh swivel, but his knees don't bend more than 90 degrees. And mine did have a loose hip joint.
You can already see that once he's in a different pose, he looks way better. Trying to get him to stand with these boots is a challenge. The heads are easy to change, but the hands were really difficult to get on and switch. So now let's see how he looks next to some other figures. We have Mafex John Wick and a Mezco Krig. An SH Figure Arts Deadpool and Mezco Old Man Logan. A Black Series Trooper and Hunter from the Bad Batch, which I always thought Hunter looked like he was based off of Rambo. I don't know, let me know in the comments. And then there's Mafex Terminator and SH Figure Arts Naruto. So now let's end with some poses. Overall, he is a decent figure with some solid accessories. Did get mine from Big Bad Toy Store for $80, and as of posting, there are still some available. I definitely need to set this guy up and get some cool action photos, as well as check out this movie again. It's been a while.